Hey, Ryan, good to see you. Come on in, man. Hey, Coach, good to see you. Appreciate you having me over. Yeah. I know you're a busy man, so uh, we'll get right to it. In 10 words or less, can you describe what you do here at Harding? Head women's soccer coach, assistant professor of kinesiology. Come on in, have a seat. Thanks. How long have you been here at Harding? I got here in 2001. What's your favorite place to go on campus? Harding soccer field, for sure. What is something that gets you out of bed in the morning? Basically, the opportunity to go and see my students and student athletes and to watch them grow and learn. What do you immediately start doing or thinking about when you get up? First thing I do, I read my Bible every morning and then I wish people happy birthday on Facebook. Let's go walk into this room. Sweet. Do you have any hidden talents? I can do a little bit of a heel click. <laughs> That's one for the books. What makes you feel most accomplished? Um, I feel accomplished when my students and my student athletes are reaching their accomplishments and their goals. That's the neatest thing to me. Tea or coffee? Definitely iced coffee during the day, hot tea in the evenings. I see some gingerbread houses there. Tell me about those. Yeah, we had a gingerbread house building contest during Christmas. So daughter built this one, son built this one, daughter won. Who would you say you admire most in the world? My dad, for sure. My dad's my, my, my mentor, and he's someone that I look up to. Just a great family man, a good husband, a great dad, was a good businessman, a leader in the church. So he's someone that I always look to be more like. That's great. How would you say your perspective on the world has changed over time? I basically look at all of us as a bunch of imperfect people just trying to do the best we can. And how would you say that affected your relationships with others? Well, I, from that, have just learned to love people harder, love them more, and just continually pray for people. Would you like a glass of water? Yeah, thanks. What do you think you would say is your favorite birthday or Christmas gift you've ever received? That's a little bit of a two-part answer. Uh, 23 years ago, I received a bunch of just golf equipment and uh, clubs and bag and balls and everything. And this past Christmas was kind of a revamping. So I got all new clubs, new bag, new balls, and uh, new, new golf gear. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Definitely. Legend of Bagger Vance. And what's your biggest fear? Biggest fear? Heights. Do you live by any piece of advice or motto? No, I'm not really much of a motto person. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? When I was a little kid, I wanted to be a doctor. I had even a doctor set. How can someone earn your trust? Well, people basically, they earn my trust by telling the truth. Well, then how can someone lose your trust? Really, people that lose my trust are people that talk too much. What do you think about when you're alone in your car? I think about, really, what's God's plan for me? What would you say is your all-time favorite singer or band? All-time favorite singer, Bob Marley, for sure. Would you rather someone be honest and hurt your feelings or lie to protect them? Definitely be honest and hurt my feelings. Here, let me turn on a little bit of music. Cool. Here we go. Where in the world would you most want to go on vacation? I would love to go back to the island of Rhodes in Greece. Do you think you'd want to live there? I would definitely love to live there. Do I dare ask what's in there? Oh, this is Rex, our bearded dragon. What motivates you to work hard? Basically, I feel like God has just blessed me with a bunch of gifts and, and abilities, and my job and my goal is to use them to the best of my ability. What's a wise piece of advice you were given in college? Well, I had a dean in college pull me aside and say, Greg, that you say yes to, uh, to too many things. You need to learn how to say no. Would you say you're more of a morning person or night owl? Problem is I'm both. How do you think you'd react if you found out you were the star of the Truman Show? It absolutely would shock me out of this world, but in some ways I wouldn't be surprised. What's one thing that excites you about the future? Watching my kids grow up and just seeing what they become and how they minister to others. <laughs> what do you think is an interesting fact that we would never learn from a first impression? Well, people really don't know. I'm a, I'm a big introvert. Um, I do enjoy being around people, but I do not at all want to be the center of attention. What would you say is your favorite scripture? Favorite scripture, John 14, verses 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. 
I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, you will be also. All right, I just got one more question for you. Yeah. Why would you say Jesus matters to you? Well, he matters to me because really in this time where there's just so much craziness and chaos, um, God is just so important. Jesus is so important. We're learning now more than ever that we are not in control. And that is a, is, a, is a lesson, a bit of wisdom that all of us need. And in this time where it is, again, so chaotic from politically, social injustice, COVID and different things that are going on, we can find an eternal and an internal peace through Christ Jesus our Lord. That's great. Well, that's all the questions I got and I appreciate you having me over. Yeah, I loved having you all here. Thanks for coming. Thanks, I'll see ya.